dead. All right, I have no idea where to go next. Ooh, new spell on Arch. Or not Arch, on Mint. Wonder if that's any good. Oh, she got the Super Giga Bow Bow Hammer. I'm gonna be honest, it honestly, like, that's probably bad for her to use. I should really turn it off. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit just to see it, like, once or twice, because it'll be funny. But I feel like it's gonna take up too much of her TP for too little benefit compared to her, like, healing and using buffs. But it'll be funny. All right, I need you guys to die fast. They sure died fast. That and that move is so funny. I didn't even, like, get the stun. It's not even, like, a guaranteed stun. Yeah, I probably need to turn it off. I don't think it'll be useful. I think it's just gonna be a waste of her TP. We've seen Pow Pow Hammer plenty. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Many wrong inputs. There we go. I couldn't remember what button to press. You have to press square to turn them off. Okay, so I think that's all. This entire pathway has been dead ends, I think. What's this way? Okay. An on shield. Would an on shield be better than whatever Crest has right now? Do you hear that? It's like a remix of the whoa, whoa, It's like a remix of that one town that has like the best music in the game. That's so funny. Oh, this is way better. Don't mind if I do. Nope. Nope. Oh, I got a shield ring for you now. That's nice. And for you. There we go. Pretty mittens. Wow, 15 defense. That's insane. All right, there we go. A little bit of a buff for everyone there. I'm about to use a holy bottle because I feel like the encounter rate in here has been a little ridiculous. Running into too many enemies. Especially with how big this place is, I feel like I'm going to be in here for a little while. Hopefully we aren't here for the rest of stream, but you never know. Ooh, Verbana. I should use those stat ups at some point. We're past mid-game now, so it's probably getting to be about that time. All right, so that was a dead end... Wait a minute, what's this way up at the top right? I don't remember which way I originally came from is the problem. This is like a, a waste of my time. I sent that fireball flying. Goodbye. Thank goodness we went to Fenrir first so that we got Tidal Wave for Arch. Although I bet Explosion would have been really useful in the Ice Place too, so I guess it's like... You benefit either way. I'm gonna use a holy bottle. I wanna run into less combat. I think that's the way I came from. So what's here? Oh, that was just a room probably with a chest in it. Alright, so I think we've... I don't think I missed anything. I think everything beyond here was just to get chests and all. Yeah, that makes sense, actually, because that was, like, an optional room to go into from opening the levers, so I guess now we go the fire path, probably? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Pico Pico yeah. Hum! Yeah. Dead. Yeah. I'm here to save you! Hello. Yeah. Don't you dare cast. No yeah. casting yeah. in my house. No, Clarth! Yeah. She probably would have died if you had just waited, like, literally 0.5 seconds later for my stab to go through. Oh, no, she guarded it. Never mind. Tapestry. We took an entire tapestry from those fools? Why? I don't think I went down this way before. Oh, hello. A moon? What is a moon crystal? Sounds like an accessory. Oh, there it was. Oh, it increases uh, TP by 30%. Right, right. You know what? Honestly, I'd rather you have that than HP. 
Although, you don't know. Actually, no, I wouldn't, because you don't need more TP. Like, you already, like, m you use TP so little in fights that you normally have full TP at the end of fights when I have you use healing moves. You don't really need it. Oh, hello, a teleporter? What's everyone's favorite variety of food, like Mexican, Italian, etc.? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm like the pickiest eater alive. Uh. Huh. I'm really worried that that's some kind of a boss who will, like, one-shot me and give me a game over. So because we're so close to the entrance, I'm going to step outside and save the game and then go back in and fight him. Because I don't want to have to go through all those rooms again to, like, get explosion and all those items I found. That would be a nightmare. All right, now let's go back and talk to him. And then I, the only other way I know to go after that is the fire room on the far right. The layout of this place is a little whack. It's a little confusing. Is this the statue of Odin that Valkyrie was talking about? Oh, okay, this is a statue. I thought it was like an enemy. May the magnanimous and triumphant grace mine sacred priest... What? May the magnanimous and triumphant, talking about people... Grace, as in a verb, go to a location, mine sacred precinct, this dude's location. Dude, that is a wild sentence. Oh, hi. Welcome, mighty one. My name is Odin. The Odin? Hast thou the courage to show me thy strength? Sure, dude, I just saved. That is to say, dost thou have the courage to fight me alone? No. Nope. So thou art one without courage? Do not sully mine sanctuary with thy presence. Leave it once. Okay, so I gotta fight him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't like the sound of this. Do not like the sound of this at all. I hate 1v1s in Tales of. There has literally only ever been like one, maybe two 1v1s in Tales of History that I've been okay with. I don't really remember, but I think there's a 1v1 with Luke and Ash in Tales of the Abyss near the end of the game. And I don't remember if I hated it or not, but I think it was fine. It's been too long since I played Abyss. And then the 1v1 at the end of Tales of Arise was fine. I really don't remember if that Ash and Luke fight was, like, really annoying or not. I'll ask once more. Are you encouraged to show thy strength? That is to say, courage to fight me alone? Yes, then show me the strength of man with pleasure. All right, here we go. Am I fighting the chest? Am I fighting a mimic? Is Odin a mimic? I, it's me against Odin! Don't like this! What? Excuse me, Mr. Odin, you have a bajillion HP? And you're stunning me? What is this nonsense? Is this a scripted loss? I don't think there's been a scripted loss in a single one of these fights yet. That had better be a scripted loss. How do you lose to an old guy? Are you hurt? You're out of your league. Let the wheat be gone from my sight. Return when thou hast honed thyself. Ah. Okay. At least it doesn't kill you. Also, that fight sucks. Like, actual hot garbage. Like, what on earth was I supposed to do? Like, it would be one thing if he didn't have a bajillion HP. Like, maybe I could have, like, tried to get a better stun lock going on from the get-go. But, like, I don't see how I'm ever supposed to win that fight. Maybe you don't need to do that to, like, proceed the game. Maybe the item I need is somewhere else, because there's still more to explore. But, like, if I have to win that fight to continue the main story, like, dude, I got no earthly eye. I'm gonna have to, like... I, I don't know what to do other than, like, over-level or something. Ness! I hate 1v1s in Tales of. They are almost always bad. It is so insanely rare for any 1v1 in a Tales of game to not be hot garbage. I mean, the game is... Oh, I think she used Nurse of her own will at first, and then the second she used the second one because I had told her to. That's fun. But, like, literally, they're, like... Ev I think just about the majority, if not all, of Tales of games have at least one or two 1v1 fights. And, like, nine out of ten times, they're always awful. Like, the, the Tales of franchise was not designed around 1v1 combat. It's designed around four, having four players on your side at once. 
I don't know why they ever even bother trying to do 1v1s. They never work out well in my experience. They're always like the most unfun fights in the game. Again, except for like one or two exceptions. Yo, dude, are there any locations around here that aren't on fire? This holy bottle ain't doing its job too well right now. What? He can teleport. Okay. I didn't know that these guys could just teleport at will. Now I know, I guess. Tales of Abyss versus Ash were interesting 1v1s. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember being fine with those. It's just been too long since I played last. I think that I think that the Tales of Abyss 1v1s, or at least like the last one, like the one that I, because the last one you had to win, right? One of the I think there were two, maybe three of them, and one of them was like uh you could lose it and it was fine, and then the other one was like the other one was like you have to win, but it was like not poorly designed, just like the final boss fight in uh Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise had that 1v1 at the very end of the game that was really good. It was like it was done well. But typically in Tales of History, 1v1s just absolutely suck. It's like the worst part of the games. A lot of the time. I think this fire is damaging us faster than the ice was in the other dungeon. Which makes it significantly more annoying. It's possible that this fire doesn't uh, game over you like the ice does, but I'm not taking that chance. Because I'm so certain that the miasma in that one dungeon, it, like the it was like the second dungeon of the game, the second or third. I'm fairly certain that one did not game over you if you got to zero. It like stopped you at one HP. But I, was, I would assume this dungeon would follow the rule of the other dungeon where it can game over you out of nowhere. There's the lever I need. Pull the lever, Kronk. Dude, we got solo there. I gotta be checking more often. Nothing there. None that I saw, at least. Hopefully that opened the door. If that didn't open the door, maybe there was another level on- Uh, la words. Maybe there was another lever on the left that I missed. Must have missed a lever somewhere. Was there one on this side that I didn't notice? Yeah, there was. I tunnel visioned on the chest. Oh, I think I heard the door open there. Nah, 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 nah. Please let this next room not be on fire, I beg of you. Dude, Distortion Blade is so sick. I see why it costs so much TP. No, no casting for you. Banzai! Pikahan! Oh, goodbye. Get indignationed. I definitely want to replay Abyss on the channel, by the way. We were talking about Abyss a lot today. For sure, like, Abyss and Symphonia, but I'm, I'd, I'd rather replay Abyss than Symphonia. But I need, I need to replay Symphonia, too, because just like Grace's, that playthrough is way too old. It, it just needs to be redone for the sake of it. But uh, I want to replay Abyss at some point, too. And I think when I replay it, I'll probably play the original PS2 version instead of the 3DS redo. Oh my goodness, I have to move statues in this fiery nonsense? Are you kidding me? Can everything stop being on fire, please? This dungeon is going pretty long, by the way. If it really is, like, just the Odin fight is the only thing that matters, that'd be kind of weird. So I'm starting to think that we do, like, the Odin fight is, like, an optional, like, maybe a potential post-boss kind of deal you can do. Which is fine by me. I will, honestly, if it's, like, something that you don't have to do to finish the game, I'm just never gonna do that fight. Like, I don't, I don't care. He probably gives you back Gungner or something stupid. Is this door locked? This door is, like, locked. Okay. Maybe there's somewhere to put the statue down here that starts it. Actually, did I just hear it open? Oh, it did open. I guess the statue just has to be far away. 
I also just saw that there is a tablet here. Guards on patrol. Sure. Whatever that means. They're statues, dude. They ain't patrol nothing. Yo, you want to get a tidal wave over here to just blow these guys away real quick? Volt will help. Please die. Thank you. Yatta! Am I seeing things, or did Odin kind of look like Volga from Hyrule Warriors? Had like a similar helmet, I guess. I can see that. Another shield ring. We are definitely taking insanely more damage here than we did the ice place. I think the fire floors do more damage. Okay, so I pull this guy away and the door opens, I think is how this works. Balrog! Just look like lesser demons by any other name to me. Please die. I have very important business to uh, deal with. Weird that lava hurts more than some cold wind. Yeah, dude. Doesn't make any logical sense. Cold wind is cold. Cold painful. We're gonna end up having to give Mint some more TP, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure we're like full on orange gels. We haven't had to use like any. Yo, those guys were like 14, 14 experience apiece. That's insanely good. What the heck? Yeah, that works. Oh, more pretty mittens. How nice. Oh my goodness. I almost got a game over right there. What the heck? I did not mean to do that. All right, that was horrifying. Thank goodness I opened the menu. The amount of damage that you take from these fiery areas is ridiculous. Oh, do you have to, like, go on these, maybe? Oh, there's the best part of the song right there. Do you need to be put on these? I wanted to... I was trying to read them. It looked like it had text on it. Dude, look at how fast my health drops. This is stupid. This dungeon is way worse than the other one. Way worse. Should not be doing that much damage to me. Dead. Tidal wave! This is like way too much damage from just walking around. I can't remember the last time I saw Mint under 200 TP. Now she's back above 200, but that'll change soon. She's gonna have to like cast two more nurses here in a second. I need a hotkey that just specifically does nurse. Oh my goodness, everything is still on fire. Stop. This has gone from just being annoying to being downright terrible. What? Hi? Guardian of the flame. We are the guardians of the tower of flames. Show us your strength. Okay, so many bosses I have to beat to get to the top, I guess? A uh, flame sword. Are you are you the sword I need to fuse with the Vorpal sword? Like, are you what I need? I doubt it. Zap. All right, well we fought this uh, enemy like type before. It shouldn't be too bad. It's a little difficult to hit because of the way it floats, but whatever. I'll just do that. Wow, it lives. Dang. Oh, yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. I'm pretty excited. Oh, my goodness, all the threes. I'm pretty excited for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. I really enjoyed Age of Calamity. I really liked the original Hyrule Warriors. I didn't play the original Fire Emblem Warriors because Virion isn't in it, so I didn't care. But uh, I like Three Houses, and I like Warriors games, and uh, the most recent Warriors game was amazing. We are the Guardians of the Tower of Flames. Show us your strength. We are the guardians, the guardians of the flames. A freak quivers before him. I love that vine. Oh, that sucked. 
Fire Emblem Warriors OG had too many characters that played similarly. I heard it wasn't as good as Hyrule Warriors. But I mean, they did really good with Age of Calamity, so I, uh... It's, uh, it's Koei Tecmo that does the Warriors games, right? I, I trust Koei Tecmo to uh, do well with Fire Emblem Three Hopes. I really hope if uh, Age of Calamity sold insanely well, I think it was the best-selling Warriors game of all time. So uh, I really hope that uh, Three Hopes does really well sales-wise as well. And then maybe, maybe we can get a Xenoblade Warriors. I don't like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I would... For a Xenoblade Warriors that had the OG Xenoblade characters plus like Xenoblade 2 characters and maybe even Xenoblade X and maybe even Xenoblade 3 because that's coming out soon. Uh, I would I would be uh, super down with that. Wait, was it just those two? Oh, there's the third one here. We are the Guardians of the Tower of Flames. Show us your strength. Let's go. 